welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys my date night lazy, lazy date night bun. Without further ado, this is an all-in-one video, so stay tuned for this sleek bun and also for my lazy date night. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Okay guys, so I'm starting off on really old hair. As you guys can see, this stuff is super tangled and it's pretty much an old twist out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and divide my hair into sections. Not really like, you know, intense sections, but I'm just dividing my hair up so that I can basically spray my hair with water. I do want to point out the fact that spraying your hair with water when doing any type of ponytail or bun is super important because you don't want your hair to be dry and tangled when you're applying a lot of pressure to your hair in the first place. So yeah, just go ahead and spray your hair with water whenever you're doing any type of bun style. So that's what I'm doing here and I'm just going to go ahead and run the water um, through my hair just to make sure that I cover all the bases. Okay guys, so I'm just going ahead and adding a um, leave-in to my hair. You can add like a cream or a styling cream to your hair, but this is basically to moisturize your hair and to um, make the style a lot more manageable and make your hair a lot more manageable so that you're not like struggling when it comes time to put your hair in a ponytail, especially if you have super curly hair like me or if you have thick hair, you do want to put like some type of cream or leave-in so that your hair can be a little bit more tamed. Even though the curls still try to pop out your, you know, ponytail, especially if you have curly hair, this is the best method to use if you're trying to make sure that everything looks a lot more um, tamed and manageable. So as you guys can see, I did not really do a straight part in my hair. I don't normally care about that. But if you are one of those people who have to have like, you know, a straight part, then go ahead and do that. But to me, it just doesn't make a difference. No one ever pays attention. The style still looks right. So I don't really pay attention and, you know, part my hair as straight as it could be. I'm just adding some styling gel to my hair and this is from the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. It's one of my favorite gels so I'm just putting it on my hair. And I'm taking my heart bristle brush. Um, this is a lifesaver. <laughs> I don't use it all the time but when it comes to styles that I want to be a lot more tamed and kind of sleek, I do go ahead and use my heart bristle brush. And I also take my Demon brush and I try to take that over my hair as well because like I said my hair is very thick and it does have um, you know a very curly texture so a lot of times the curls try to pop out even when I do like sleek styles so I'm taking this Jamaican black castor oil of course this is optional but I like to add a little bit of oil to my hair um, because I just feel like that with every style that I do it's important to add nutrients so Jamaican black castor oil or my growth oil is what I normally add to my hair so now I'm just taking my soft bristle brush and I'm going over my hair to kind of smooth everything out. And with this low classy ponytail, it is going to take a little bit for your hair to get the way you want. So you're just going to have to keep brushing. Even when you brush, like you see me in this video, I still didn't get it as smooth as I want. But it's okay. It still turned out right. It still looks good at the end. I want you for myself every single day. So to actually hold your hair in place, girl, you're going to need a very stretchy hair tie. If you try to get a small hair tie, it is most likely not going to work. So get you one that stretches pretty far. Now what I normally do when I do like a more sleek bun is I put my hair in a ponytail like this and then I go over my hair and brush it again just to make it even more sleek. But this is kind of like a lazy bun. So I didn't really do all the work that I do when I'm trying to go for like super sleek, smooth down bun. If that makes sense. So to actually put my hair in the bun, I just take my hair and split it into two and I, you know, put my hair into a bun in two sections because I find when I do it in one whole like section and then try to put my hair up, it just doesn't stay like 
throughout the day my hair will start my bun will start to like get frizzy or like curls will start popping out everywhere so I found that this is the better way to do it so once I have my bun wrapped up I'm going to go ahead and look for a hair tie that can go around my bun and actually stay but as you guys are going to see that does not happen my hair tie that I had broke on me the moment I tried to wrap it around my hair yeah Comment down below or like this video if this happens to you. Curly hair problems. So at this point, I just kind of clean up the edges of my hair. I don't put down my baby hairs because I feel like this style it just looks better when everything is kind of like slick back. But you can do what you want. I'm just going to take this spray, which is like a shine spray. I don't normally do this, but for these ponytails, I think they look better when they're super shiny and moisturized looking so i just put that on my hair and of course you see me putting my scarf on to set everything okay guys so this was a completed hair look and now i'm just going to take you guys along to get ready for my lazy and home date night that i'm going to be doing for me and my boyfriend so I'm just going to pick out some lounge clothes. I mean, I really don't get dressed up to go around the house. So I'm just putting on like cute lounge clothes. If you guys know some good places to get lounge wear that is like super comfortable but still really cute, list it down below. So of course this would not be a date night if I did not smell absolutely delicious for my actual cozy date night. So I'm going to be using these fragrances from... Scentbird. I love Scentbird because this is a really easy and affordable way to get high quality perfumes for a cheaper price. So if you guys are wondering, Scentbird is actually a monthly subscription service that gives you the opportunity to sample like very expensive fragrances and cosmetics um, for a much affordable price. So you can do this for just $15 a month. So I actually picked up a Luminaire by Vince Camato, Aruba by Nativia, and the Love Tube Rose by Amarge. And I really like these fragrances. I ended up going with the Illuminaire. And this is more of a light fragrance because I didn't want to be too overbearing because I'm not really going anywhere. I mean, I'm going to be in the house. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and click down below where you can get 30% off your first perfume. So that makes it just $10. So go ahead and head over to Scentbird by clicking the link down in the description box. So now I'm going to go ahead and get dinner ready and set the table. And I hope you guys enjoyed this classy, lazy date night. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.